A picture's about to appear right here. So get your mind into focus as Leanne and Jason of the Orange Team and Amanda and Larry of the Yellow Team get ready to get the picture. And now, here's the host of Get the Picture, a guy who won't chip, peel, or flake, my buddy, Mike O'Malley! Bye. Thank you, Henry J. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Get the Picture, the game show where an eye for detail can make you a winner. Contestants, you've already seen portions of our first picture. We'll get you up to speed by revealing the rest of it. Here it is. Buzz in when you know the answer. It's worth 20 points. Let's see it now. Yes, Orange Team. Tennis match. Is it a tennis match? Yes, it is. It is a tennis match on the tennis court, and that's 20 points for the Orange Team. On the Orange Team, we have Jason and Lee Ann. Welcome. Jason, I understand, uh, aside from playing baseball, you're interested in becoming a lawyer? Yes. And what's interested you in becoming a lawyer? Well, I like to get clues and everything. You like to pick up clues and analyze stuff? Great. And Lee Ann, you volunteer at the Humane Society? Right. And what animals do you work with at the Humane Society? Animal or cats and dogs. Cats basically. and dogs mostly, and you do yeah. this a few hours a week. Right. Wonderful. And on the yellow team, we have Larry and Amanda. Welcome, <laughs> Larry. I understand you want to be a commercial pilot. Yeah. You want to fly fly planes. Now, what got you interested in this? The flight here. The flight here. <laughs> Good. All right. And Amanda, um, you like to travel a lot yourself. Mm-hmm. And wh what's the favorite place you've been to traveling? Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Wonderful. Okay, let's hear it for our players stand. Get the picture. <laughs> Ron, want to get the picture. It's called Connect the Dots. We'll put a bunch of dots up there on that board, and I will be asking questions. The team that buzzes in first with the correct answer gets to connect the dots in a square of their choice, gets 20 points, and gets a chance to guess the picture. So let's put our first picture on the board now, please. There it is, and the clue is it's a thing, and here is the first question. Name the hot-tempered lead singer of the group Guns N' Roses. Yellow team. Axel Rose. Axel Rose is correct. Puts you at 20. Ties up the score. Pick a square, please. Yellow team. Number seven. Number seven, please. Some detail for you. Now, if you guess a picture correctly, it is worth 50 points. If you guess incorrectly, you lose 20. Would you like to take a guess? It is a thing. No. No guess. Sure. Next question. Name the creepy movie about a nasty little doll named Chucky who terrorizes. Yes, Orange team. Child's Play. Child's Play is correct. Put you at 40. Pick a square, please. Orange team. Number six. Number six, please. Power surge! Oh, yeah, orange team. Okay, Jason and Leanne, this is a chance for you guys to get an additional 20 points and an extra clue as to what the actual picture is. This is called scrambled pictures. We're going to be showing you a picture that we've broken up into pieces. It'll be moving around on the screen. So look at this real sharp. You have 15 seconds to tell me what the picture is. Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock for the orange team. On your mark, get set, go. What does it look like? Octopus playing, playing uh, bowling. It's an octopus bowling. That's right. Let's get back up there. Yeah, okay. A bowling octopus puts your score at 60. We're going to reveal a portion of the picture in that power surge square. Orange team, you will have an opportunity to guess. Let's see that now, please. There it is. Would you like to take a guess, Orange Team? Parking, parking meter. Is it a parking meter? Yes, lovely Rita Meter Maid. Writing you a ticket for 50 more points. Put you at 110. 110 for the Orange Team, 20 for the Yellow Team. Let's put our next picture on the board now, please. There it is. The clue is it's, a, it's an animal. Here's the next question. A ruler measures distance. A thermometer measures temperature. But what does a seismograph measure? Yes, Yellow Team. Earthquakes. Earthquakes is correct. The movement of the Earth determines the Richter scale of earthquakes. Put you at 40. Pick a square, please. Number seven. Number seven, please. Would you like to take a guess? It is an animal. Animal with 50 points. No guess. Next question. Which happens first? You hear the thunder or you see the lightning? Yes, yellow team. Lightning. Lightning. You see the lightning first. Put you at 60. Pick a square, please. Number 10. Number 10, please. Another square. Would you like to take a guess, yellow team? No guess? Next question. Where would you find the old factories? Would they be A, next to the new ones, B, up your nose, or C, in a gasoline combustion engine? Yes, yellow team. Uh, A. A is incorrect. Yes, orange team, let me reread the question. Would it be B, up your nose, or C, in a gasoline combustion engine? C. C. 
C is incorrect. The olfactories would be up your nose. Up your nose. Next question. How do dogs sweat? Is it A, through their tongues? Yes. A, through their tongues. A is correct. Through their tongues. Put you at 80. They don't, they don't sweat through their noses. Make a square, please. Six. Six. Do you have a guess? No guess. Next question. If President Bush came to your house for dinner, you would have to set a few extra plates for his security staff. What is another name for these special men and women? Yes, Orange Team. Secret Service. That is correct. The Secret Service puts you at 130, Orange Team. Pick a square, please. Three. Number three, please. Do you have a guess? It is an animal. Praying mantis? Is it a praying mantis? <laughs> Sorry, that's incorrect. You lose 20 for that. Next question. Where do Robin Hood and his men live? Yes, Yellow Team. Uh... Uh, treehouse? Uh, judges, when you say treehouse, I'm sorry. Y yellow, uh, orange team, I'm sorry. Sherwood Forest? Sherwood Forest is correct. Put your score at 130. Looking for something more specific on that one. Would you pick a square, please? Nine. Number nine, please. Okay, do you have a guess? Remember, there's still another power surge square up there. No guess? No. Next question. What century are we heading into? Yellow team. 2000. I'm sorry? Year 2000. That's not what we're looking for. Look, judges, will we accept that? We're looking for what century we're heading into, Orange Team. 21st. 21st is correct. Put you at 150. Pick a square, please. Eight. Number, I'm sorry? Eight. Number eight, please. Do you have a guess? It is an animal. No. No. Next question. Copernicus proved that our solar system is heliocentric. Does this mean that A, the planets are arranged alphabetically, B, that it re revolves around the sun, which is at the, yes? B. B is correct. It revolves around the sun, which is at the center. Mm -hmm. Spit that question out. Put you at 100. Pick a square, please. Uh, 12. Number 12, please. Would you like to take a guess? No. All right. Next question. Which of the following is a form of rhyming poetry invented by Edward Lear? A, a hemlock, B, a limerick, or C, a Klondike? Yes, you all team. Uh, B. B is correct. The limerick puts you at 120. Got a close game going here, folks. Would you pick a square, please, y'all team? 16. Can we see 16, please? There it is. You have a guess. Tough picture up there this time. Next question. As you know, the sun lies about 31,281 light years from the center of our galaxy and takes about 214.8 million years to complete one journey around it. Assuming that each of the nine planets expends an amount of energy proportional to its mass in orbiting the galaxy, and if the sun's surface temperature varies at a rate equal to less than half, again, its distance from the furthest planet, and if what goes around comes around, what beverage do we get from cows? Gelatin. Milk. Milk is correct. <laughs> yes, a roundabout way of asking that question. Yes. Put your score at 140. Ten points away from the orange team. Pick a square, please. Fifteen. Fifteen, please. Dare I say, shh, do you want to take a guess? No, I will not. Next question. Fred Flintstone spends a lot of time yelling yabba dabba do and... Yes? Orange team, do you want to take a guess? Okay. I'll reread the question for the yellow team. Fred Flintstone spends a lot of time yelling yabba dabba do and Wilma. But what does he do for a living? A uh, construction worker. Is he a construction worker, judges? Yes, we'll take that. He operates a crane and a rock quarry. But then again, in the Stone Age, what more did you have to do construction with than rocks? Put your score at 160. You're in the lead. Pick a square, please. Number yeah. 11. Number 11, please. Power surge! Here's your chance at a power surge. This is called falling leaves. Just like autumn, you'll see a bunch of leaves falling into our video wall. They will make up a picture. You need to identify three of these pictures in 30 seconds, so guess at will. 30 seconds on the clock for the yellow team, please. On your mark, get set, go. What do you see, guys? To look like. I don't want to try to get it. Cucumbers. Cucumbers, right. Next picture. I want to try just guess away. You don't lose anything with uh, guessing wrong. A flower? No, not no, a flower. Maybe. Uh, a blow dryer. A blow dryer. Good. Next picture, please. One more. That's all you need. What's it look like? Um, an animal? It's an animal. What, what type of animal? It's a bear. A lamb. A lamb is right. Good job, Amanda. You guys got that. Let's get back up there. Very good. Put your score at 180. 20 more points for you. We will reveal a portion of the actual picture now in this power surge square. Let's see it, please. There it is. Would you like to take a guess? Yellow team. 
Yes. Yes. Is it a cow with sunglasses? Is it a cow with sunglasses? <laughs> so that's incorrect. You lose 20 for that. That puts you at 160. Next question. Okay, that buzz means time is running out in this round. So what we're going to do is reveal this one square at a time until one team buzzes in with the correct answer. This is worth 50 points. You can buzz in as soon as I say, let's reveal these squares, but please wait for me to call on you. Let's reveal these squares. Yes, yellow team. A rabbit with sunglasses. Is it a rabbit with sunglasses? That's incorrect. Keep guessing. Yes, orange team. A pig with sunglasses. Is it a pig with sunglasses? I'm sorry, keep guessing. Yes, y'all team. A dog with sunglasses. Is it a dog with sunglasses? It is a dog with sunglasses. Yes, we went through the entire animal kingdom before we got there. That 50 more points puts you at 210 for the yellow team, 150 for the orange team. That's the end of round one. And we have got round number two coming up. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You stay around. We got more pictures, more prizes, more fun coming up. Welcome back to Get the Picture. Round two set to begin. We got a great game going here. 150 for the orange team, 210 for the yellow team. Round two, we're playing a game called Dots. I will be asking questions that will require two, three, or four answers. The team that buzzes in first with the correct answers gets 40 points, plus as many lines as there are answers, plus a chance to guess the hidden picture we will put up there when a square is revealed. There are two power surge squares up there this time. And don't forget, if you can't supply all the answers for a question, the other team can buzz in and steal. Keep that in mind. Let's put our first picture on the board. There it is. The clue is it's a food. Here's the first question. Phoenix and Boise are the capitals of what two states? Yes, Orange Team. Arizona and Idaho. That is correct. Put you at 190. Right back into it, guys. Two lines, please. Seven to eight. Seven to eight and Seven. eight to 13. Seven to eight, eight to 13. Next question. Two men in the World Wrestling Federation claim to be the WWF's only true lawmen. Who are these two? Yes. The Mountie and the Big Boss Man. That is correct. The Mountie and the Big Boss Man puts you at 250. Two lines, please. 7 to 12 and 12 to 13. And there's a square. Can we see it, please? Would you like to take a guess? It is worth 75 points this round. Is it bagels? Is it bagels? They are bagels. Oh, yeah. Put your score at 325. Good work, yellow team. Let's put our next picture up on the board now, please. There it is. The clue is it's a thing. And here is the next question. If you're opening for Van Halen in Seattle and New Orleans this weekend, what two states have you performed in? Yes, Orange Team. Louisiana and Washington. That is correct. Put you at 230. Very good, Jason. Two lines, please. Seven to eight. Seven to eight. Eight to 13. Eight to 13. Next question. On the TV show, hey, dude, tell me the name of the ranch they hang out on. And yes, y'all team. Um, bar none and Mr. Ernest. Sorry, that's incorrect. On the TV show, Hey Dude, tell me the name of the ranch they hang out on and the state it's located in. Bar none is correct. We're looking for the state, which is not Mr. Ernest. Yes. Bar none and Arizona. That is correct. Put you at 270. Very good, Orange Team. Two more lines for you. What are they going to be? 7 to 12. 7 to 12. 12 to 13. 12 to 13. Can we see that square, please? It is a thing. Do you have a guess? It is worth 75 points. Would put you in the lead. Basketball? Is it a basketball? <laughs> Sorry, it's incorrect. You lose 20 for that. On to the next question. <laughs> Stu, Kathy, and Jim are all nicknames of or shortened versions of what proper names? Stu, Kathy, yes. Uh, Stuart. Yes. Catherine, and Jimmy. I'm sorry, Jimmy is incorrect. <sighs> Stuart, Catherine. Is correct. The other is Jim. What is the proper name of Jim? James. James is correct. Puts you at 290. Three lines, please, Orange Team. Eight to nine. Mm -hmm. Nine to 14. All righty. And 14 to 13. There's another square. Can we see it, please? Power surge! Okay. Here is a chance for you guys to get 40 more points. This would put you in the lead. This is called What's in Common. We'll show you four pictures. You have 30, sec uh, 30 seconds, yes, 30 seconds to tell me what they have in common. Help each other out on this one. 30 seconds on the clock for the orange team. On your mark, get set, go. Sick. Uh, hook. No. Catch. Things catch, you catch. catch. Good job. Get back up there. 
things you catch a baseball butterfly, fish, and a coal. That puts you in the lead with 40 more points. That puts you at 330. We're going to reveal a portion of the picture in that power surge square. Let's do it now, please. All righty. We know it's not a basketball. Would you like to take a guess? No. No guess? Next question. Name two Major League Baseball teams for which Nolan Ryan has played. Yes, Orange Team. Uh, Astros. That's one. And Rangers. That is correct. Also, the Angels and Mets put you at 370. Two lines, please, Orange Team. 12 to 17. 12 to 17. And 17 to 18. On to the next question. Name the four basic food groups. Yes, Yellow Team. Uh, milk, meats, vegetable, and cereal. Judges? Sorry. Orange Team. I have meat. I have vegetable. Dairy. Dairy is correct. And wheat. Wheat. Judges will accept that? Yes, we will. Okay, that puts you at 4 of 10. Sorry, milk was not a category. We're going to uh, give you four more lines, Orange Team. 13 to 18. Mm -hmm. 14 to 19. Already. 18 to 19. 18 to 19. And one more 9 line. to 10. 9 to 10. Let's see both those squares now, please. There's one. And another's a power surge. Okay. Get on down here, guys. This power surge is called Clue Me In. We're going to be putting pictures up on the board up there. And we're going to need one of you to give one word clues, the other to guess what the pictures are. Who's going to be giving clues? I am. Leanne's giving clues. Jason, step right over here. We will put 30 seconds on the clock. You need to get three of these in 30 seconds. Let's put those 30 seconds on the clock now. On your mark, get set, go. Describe it. One word, clues. Meow. Cat. Cats, right. Kittens, go on to the next one. Listen. Ear. Radio. Headphones. Next picture. That was headphones. Good. Club. Golf. Judges, will we accept it? Yes, we will. Get back up there, guys. Good work. Good job, Orange Team. That's 40 more points for your score. We'll put you at 450. We will reveal a portion of the picture in that power surge square. Let's do it now, please. There it is. Would you like to take a guess? It's worth 75 points. Um, a ping pong ball and a ping pong paddle? Is it a ping pong ball and a ping pong bat? Yes, it is. Ping pong. Ding dong, say hello, putting your score at 525. Let's put our next picture up on the board now, please. There it is. The clue is it's a food. Here's the next question. As an actress, Madonna is considered one heck of a singer. Name two movies she starred in. Yes, y'all team. Uh, Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy, yes. And Truth or Dare. Truth or, Truth or Dare, correct. That puts your score at 365. Two lines, please. Seven to eight. Seven to eight. 8 to 13. 8 to 13. On to the next question. What do the letters CIA stand for? Yes, yellow team. Secret intelligence. Sorry, that's incorrect. Orange team, do you know what CIA stands for? I have intelligence. I need what C and A stand for. Central Intelligence Agency. Next question. That buzz means time is running out in this round, so what we're going to do is reveal this one square at a time until one team buzzes in with the correct answer. This is worth 75 points. The clue is it's a food. Let's reveal those squares. Orange team. Biscuits. Is it a biscuit? It's incorrect. Keep guessing. Orange team. Oh, onion. Is it an onion? It's incorrect. Keep guessing. Orange team. Garlic. Is it garlic? It is garlic! <laughs> it is certainly garlic. That puts your score at 600 points. Yellow team with 365. You played a great game, but our winners were 600. The orange team. Yes. Good job, orange team. Yellow team. Thank you for being with us. We got some prizes for you. Henry J., talk to us. For our departing team, any time is right for Hershey's syrup or chocolate milk mix and milk. When you're ready to enjoy great tasting chocolate or strawberry milk, say Hershey's, please. Plus, who takes you to school, to football practice, and on vacation, too? Roma does with backpacks, school bags, locker bags, totes, and travel bags. No wonder America's kids want to be Roma kids. Oh, yeah, we're coming back for the bonus round of Mega Memory. These guys are putting their minds to work. You stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah. Welcome back to Get the Picture. We're here in the bonus round, Mega Memory, with our winners, the Orange Team. Orange Team, here's how you play. 
We will show you nine pictures for 10 seconds, then we will cover them up. And as I read off a clue for each picture, you need to hit the corresponding button on the Mega Memory keypad. For the first six pictures you guess correctly, you will get $100 for each picture. After that, you are playing for this, Henry J. Mike, today's grand prize package includes Nico's radio controlled, battery powered, high performance Barracuda. It's perfect for racing on pools and ponds, runs forward and reverse, turns right and left. It's from Nico America Inc. Plus, you'll also get the Don Classic. It rides like a full size bike, but folds that easily fit under a bus or plane seat or wherever space is limited. The Don Classic. Get all nine matches and you'll enjoy Zenith's smartly crafted, state of the art 19 inch diagonal color TV with remote control and Zenith's forehead VHS DC. With plain on screen English instructions and the message center. It's all yours from Zenith. Good luck, Orange Team. And now, here's Mike. Thank you, Henry J. The theme of today's mega memory holidays. Relax and take a look at these nine pictures now. Okay, Leanne and Jason, get up there on that pad. I need you to yell out the answers loud and clear, and please remember to take turns. Who's going first? I am. Leanne's going first. We will put 35 seconds on the clock. The clock will not start till I have read off the first clue. Good luck. Here's the first clue. Once a year, you get to blow out the candles. Go. Three, six. six is incorrect. Light up the sky for the 4th of July. Ah! Nine's right. Put this on your door for Christmas. What number? Four. Four's right. Stars and stripes show your patriotic six. pride. Six. six is incorrect. Hide these at Easter Bunny time. Hide these at Easter Bunny time. Eight is right. The star of Thanksgiving dinner. One. One is incorrect. Carved up gourd with a candle inside. Carved up gourd with a candle inside. Seven. Seven's right. Sweet gift for that special Valentine. One. One is right. It's good luck charm for St. Patty's Day. Six. Six is right. Once a year, you get to blow out the candle. Three. Three's right. Stars and stripes show your patriotic pride. Five. Five is right. Hit the last Two. one. You got it. Did they get it, judges? Oh, they did not get it, but you did get eight pictures every day when they get. Jason and Leanne, for eight matches, you'll split $800 in cash, plus you'll each receive the Barracuda Speedboat and the Dahan Classic Bike, a prize package worth $1,438. Nice work. That is nothing to be upset about. We'll see you next time and get the picture. Bye-bye.